I, I saw Ian this morning. I tried to get him to eat something, but he wouldn't, so I just thought, well, maybe some of his favourites might tempt him. Well, Ian's a man of simple tastes. I'm sure I can knock up sausage, egg and chips if you want to. Yes, I know, but still. You worry too much. He's just been under the weather, that's all. He said the doctor wants him to, uh, to have some tests. Yeah, well, I've been trying to get an appointment, but you know how busy they are at the moment. Look, Sharon, you've got enough on your plate with this place and the baby. You know, if you need me to help sort things out for Ian, then... I think I can handle a phone call. Like I said, don't worry. Have you seen the state of him? Of course I have. Well, then, act like it. Oh, just go home, Cathy. Will you just stop and listen for once in your life? Who do you think you are? Coming into my pub? Oh, that's right. You finally got this place. You would love it if Ian wasn't around, wouldn't you? You want to know the truth, Cathy? He's down, really down, and stress just makes him worse. But am I going to let him or anyone else know that? No. Look, there's more than one way to show someone you care about him. Not only am I Ian's wife, but I'm his oldest friend. You know, do you really think I would sit back and watch him suffer? I'm doing everything I can. He's ill, Sharon. He's putting on a brave face, but I, I can tell by his eyes. My boy needs help. That's got to mean something to you of all people. Ian loves you. He always has. I almost lost him twice this last year. Twice. I don't know what I'll do if anything else happens to him. Please, Sharon, help my son. Phil, it's me. Whatever Ian's done, he's still Cathy's son. I can't do this anymore. The plan's off. So, what did you want to see a doctor today, Mr. Beale? Ah, uh, he's not feeling right. You need some tests. And what sort of tests? Uh, blood tests. He's worried he's taking something that he shouldn't have done, and it's making him sick. So you're worried you might have overdosed? <sighs> Accidentally, or...? I'm fine, it's, um... It's just stress, that's all. Um... Can we get out of well, Do you want to know the truth, or don't you? <clears throat> if you're worried you've ingested something, I suggest we begin with some basic toxicology tests. See if we can get to the bottom of what's been going on. Sound good? Mr. Beale, if you don't feel comfortable. I do. Let's do this. <laughs> 